hello it's Sarah and this is my funky little cityscape that I did in the Jody Ole class of that name I'll put the link in the description box I don't know how much of this is going to get into the screen this is about 20 by 16 this canvas and it's completely different um, techniques then I just took with the L, with the uh, how or with the Who Are You project that I did. So it was awesome because I learned completely different things, um, and it is nowhere near as funky as Jody's is. Um, her style is very free, and that's the thing that I'm trying to bring out in myself. I'm trying to get out of my box when it comes to this uh, mixed media stuff and just creating my own art because when you're a decorative decorative painter like I was we used um, uh, oh my gosh I have ink under my nail sorry I'm gonna talk about that in a minute I was I bought some more dip pens and been playing with them anyway uh, decorative painting we use tracings and trace on the design the exact design and everything is pretty straight and even and that's not how Jody's was at all Jody's is do I have here I'll show you and this I had a question this is an iPad this is my iPad mini and I love it so I would definitely recommend them but look this is Jody's version of the cityscapes I think this is um, this is the piece that she did that she taught and you can see how literally funky it is. It's just, this is so neat compared to hers. And I don't know how to do that necessarily, to just be free and let things happen and don't worry about if the lines are straight or if the, you know, even her doodles are just, like that's what I was trying to finish up this morning. Um adding the doodles I'll show you what I did basically um, she used the dip pen I for most of mine used the uniball this one the uniball vision uh, the uniball vision and I just got this one the uniball vision elite but this one does not say waterproof but this one says waterproof right on it and fade proof it's just a smaller um, it's a ball point, so it has a ball tip. It's a fine point, and this one is, I think this one's a tiny bit bolder, but anyway, I haven't tried this on mixed media yet, but these Uniball Visions are my kind of replacement for the um, Scarlet Line pen that I used to use, and I don't even know where that is now, because they, they discontinued those. I got that from, um, no, not that one. Anyway, I got it from, uh, Scarlet Lime is, what is her name? Art Dolls, oh, what is her name? I can't think of her name off the top of my head right now. Because I had this one too. This is a Uniball, I don't know. I was trying a lot of different pens, but this is my choice now. Um, this and the Food Ball is another good one, but the Food Ball is much thicker, a much thicker point. And so these are, this is, a, so I basically outlined most of this. I did it with a food ball on a lot of it, but for the fine details, I use uh, the Uniball Vision. So, but then all this white, anything white that you see, these little white swirls, I wrote some words in white. I did some brick lines in white, like these brick lines. I'll come in a little bit. The wording I wrote uh, make every day count. I wrote that with a um, dip pen and I, do, I was just brave and let it be whatever it was. I wrote a few things with the dip pen. Uh, I wrote play. I wrote home is where the heart is in white ink. Believe in white ink. Uh, These brick marks inspire. 
I want to finish, I have to put, I want to color in this uh, flower or change it a little bit. But yeah, oh, I wrote welcome. Nowhere near as many doodly marks as Jody does though. And I, you know, I put swirls, swirls in my heart. I wrote love on the bottom of that house. Some lines, I wrote play in the window there. What else? I put little dots. I think I did them with my um, paint pen. So yeah. So, but honestly, I did learn a lot. I've had a couple comments of like, taking classes kind of takes you away from your inner voice. But I don't have an inner voice. That's the thing. Classes gives me, it inspires me because I don't have... Honestly, that's why decorative painting was so amazing for me because they told me exactly what to do. I didn't have to think or figure anything out. I just went for it, and um, that's what I loved about decorative painting. So um, for me, cl taking classes is inspiration. It gives me a voice. It teaches me techniques. So... Uh, <clears throat> that's why I love taking classes and even though this is nothing like Jody's I learned a lot about oh we use the um, where are they these little guys the Neo 2 crayons uh, Neo Color 2 these are water soluble wax pastels um, and basically we did a black background painted this whole thing black and then we took these and we graffitied all over it and I don't know if you can actually see through. See, I see so much. But, like, see, there's black popping through. This is because there's black behind the green. That's black behind the green. Um, I did do some shading. I shaded around everything to give it, to kind of set it in. I floated that on. That's how I do it. Um, I don't think I can see any of the pencils necessarily, um, but that's what Jody, oh, this is like, this line right here is me scratching into the um, uh, background color. We did a lot of texturizing and stuff like that. So just her style, anybody who has a hard time coming out of your box and, and getting free would would possibly I don't know if you'd hate the class or you'd really enjoy the class because that's her style she is very just do it don't think about it just do it and you know don't she does have you plan it out though don't get me wrong I mean she doesn't just go so we we actually do sketch our ideas first get some ideas for your houses so you're, you're not just going in there blind you, you have a plan but when it comes to the painting of it um, it's a lot freer so anyway that's that class and I did buy two more canvases uh, these are actually 12 by 24 they were on sale at Michael's 50% off so I got a two pack of them just the artist loft canvases but I thought I could do something going this way like a, uh, a house scene I do love houses and that's why I was attracted to this class um, so I'll probably be playing that was my stomach my stomach just went Whoa. Um, I did buy the sketching um, dip pens because I had gotten just the set of just the ink it came with the ink and one nib and I couldn't get that sucker to write. I, I just had a really hard time with it. So I ended up going and getting the sketching set. Um, and that's what Jody recommended. She really goes over this quite a bit. But uh, Kate Crane also used a dip pen in her um, mixed media class. So a lot of the mixed media artists are using this. And I'm so sorry. I have ink, literally. Like, it's just messy. So I kind of played with these and found the nibs because I have, I think it came with like about six nibs. Let's see. There's one more in there, I think. Nope. Um, one of them's from, that. this one I think came with, 
the other one. So I think you get six nibs with the sketch, uh, the sketch set, the sketching set. And there's like a calligraphy set and other ones. But this is the one she used, this, this big nib. And this is the, um, see I have this little, this says bowl pointer, bowl pointed, extra fine, I'm trying to find the number because I was pretty sure it had a number, I think it's a number 10, let's see. I don't know, because see, here's the numbers, 99, 56, 102. Um, it's hard to read, but it's the biggest one. You can't, you can't mistake it. Um, but it writes, for me, she was right. This sucker really is great. And you just push it all the way in. And then I just got, I ended up getting this Speedball White ink. It's called, I think it's just called White, Blanc White. It's just white. And it just says shake well, but I, if you don't have the lid on tight, just shake it kind of well. Because you know me, and I flung white, white ink everywhere. So I'll show you this. Let's do this one first. What the heck. And this is just the ink that came with um, the calligraphy pen. And the last time I did this on camera, I had, uh, I was holding it wrong. I couldn't figure it out. And this shows you, there's a little book. Where the heck is it now? Uh, I cleared off my desk to make this video. But it does come with an instruction sheet. like, And so it shows you to hold it at a 45 degree angle. So I'm just dipping my pen and kind of dabbing off. And I just painted this paper. And I'm holding it. Once you get it going, it really isn't hard at all. So, love. Look at that. I mean, it's really easy it's easy to use so this nib is fantastic that's the biggest bowl tip fine point now let's try these let's see if I can get these to write I don't know which one these are off the top of my head but I think I left them in the pens because they wrote well for me yeah this this one I can get to write it just writes and I mean that's the thing I don't know I'm not an expert at this. I just wanted something that would make a line. And I know when you push down, you get a wider line. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. That makes a nice wide line. So maybe that's what this one's used for, you know. So that was two that I got to work. And then this is the third. Kind of, you know, similar to the other one. But I don't know why it's so different. Let's see. Nothing, nothing. Hmm, maybe this one doesn't work. There's a lot of ink in there. Can't get it to work. 45 degree angle and nothing. There's a lot of ink, maybe. Nope. I'm going to take this one right out of here because that does not work. I don't know why I thought it did. Um, try this one. Oh, this is the copper. I don't know. Let's try it. But anyway, this is just something that it's not that expensive. I think I used a coupon. And this has a much um, softer, like, look at that. That separates really. Oof. So I don't know what. It makes a wide line, a very wide line. So this might be for that. At least I got it to work. Look at that. Look how thick it is. Yeah, I don't love it though. Like that, I'm not going to use that. So those two, probably, at least I could switch back and forth from black to white on a project without having to fiddle around with these nibs. Um, I really don't know why that one didn't work. Let's try this one. This is the only other little one. It gives you a couple for the big. These two come in the pack. You get two handles in the pack of um, 
this one, the sketching. Nothing. See, I can't get it to work. Probably not good to do that. I don't know. I can't. I'm not a calligrapher. There we go. I got it now. Let's see. Got it to work. So maybe that other one worked too, but I just couldn't get it to work just then. This one feels better. Like the other one really opened wide. This one works great. All right, I'm going to leave this one in here. And go back to the, let's do some black. So yeah, so what am I going to do next? Guess what? I got a new art journal. Um, I maybe should have shook in, shook in this, shook it, shook it, but, um, let me get my clean paper. This is just a sketch pad, regular paper. And I think the lighter the touch, the better. Like, don't push too hard. And when you push hard, it makes a thicker line. So there are definitely techniques. And see how it splits when the ink isn't flowing right or I'm not holding at the right angle. But Jody de definitely uses this, like, on her piece. and just outlined everything and makes circles and cross hatching lines. See, but it's skipping for me right now. Because you have to use the correct amount of pressure. And it just makes it really free. Like, it, you don't, I think if it's a real pen, you know that you can do it perfect with, with a real pen or as perfect as you know, you do as you can do it. But with this, you're going to have these glitches. Like, so it, it kind of makes you um, not be perfect. It's, it's purposely not perfect. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I think that's just another way of, or even if you're writing something, if you're writing, this is fun. And the whole thing doesn't come out. You don't have to, you know it's there, or you just wrote it, you just made some strokes. It, and it's not necessarily for the observer to see. It's just some little secret thing that you put. That's kind of what her art is about. So art is fun. And maybe if you get those spatters, that's part of it for her too, where I would like freak out back in the day, not freak out, but just get it off, you know? Um, so that's what I definitely took away from this class, uh, that her art and her style is really free. And, you know, she uses mediums. I ended up picking up this, the pearlizing medium. This is just an Americana, uh, the Americana brand. Uh, Liquitex and um, the other brand over there, what the heck is it called, uh, Golden, they sell um, iridescent medium, which I just didn't get because, uh, you know, we're, we're a little broke this week, so I'll wait till next time, but the pearlizing medium, just instead of using, because I just was mixing it with my white pearl paint to get pearl, um, pearl effects in your work, uh, 
so what else and also definitely the um, glazing medium like that's huge for me now I love the glazing medium because a lot of times you guys have asked me in my uh, on my art journal pages how do I get that um, iridescent look or like say for this piece uh, how it's like kind of sheer and stuff that's with water I've always just used water and for me that was always my go-to tool and um, never needed the glazing medium or there's another one called retarder that a lot of artists acrylic artists use to make the open time which means it doesn't dry as fast because acrylic paint dries pretty fast and with oil paints you had all day your, the oil paints never dried so you could always play and pull and tweak things where acrylics they dry like if especially if you're doing thin coats they dry pretty quick so um, the mediums were just used as a tool to help uh, oil oil painters who switch to acrylic paint keep their open time longer so when I started I never had that issue because I started with um, acrylic paint um, and once I put it down I knew it was going to dry and it was okay now this piece I don't believe I used um, glazing medium or anything but uh, I do work fast I'm a very fast painter so for me I don't need open time as long and anyway there, there's just a lot it explains a lot to me when I take these classes I see what other people are thinking, why they do what they do, and that all helps me um, understand what my process, because I do like having a process, and I think I'm starting to, um, I'm getting there. I'm starting to understand, uh, hopefully that I wasn't looking up, anyway. All right, so that's that. That's my kind of review of um, <clears throat> my, <clears throat> my Funky Cityscapes class. Um, really liked it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, got, like I said, I have these two other canvases, so maybe I'll do something, uh, with you guys with that. And, um, I'll let you know. Oh, here, here's my art journal. I have to show you this. I ended up getting the Valusions creative journal and this is the 8 by 8 pages the cover is about 8 and a half by 8 and 5 eighths uh, by Diane Reevely and I think I did it because this a lot of the mixed media um, videos that I'm watching a lot of them like this journal and I just really like the size of this one I ordered it on Amazon um, because they, my Michaels has the small one, which is basically the size of my um, moleskin. Um, and then they have the big one, which wouldn't fit in my cubbies here. My cubbies aren't 12 by 12. So I thought the 8 by 8 was just a really good option. And it has this really nice paper that will work with her sprays and um, paints really well and do the ghosting and all that. So if I want to play with that, I'll have it. And then all this mixed media stuff, I just think it's going to hold up. These are um, their signatures stitched into the to the journal, so it's a good quality journal. I just I just thought I'd take that step in since I really do want to. I can't just do a bunch of canvases when I'm playing around because unless I'm going to start to sell them. But when I'm first trying to explore this, I needed a place to put. A little bit of a bigger design like this is this is probably half the size right so that is as ugh, I hate that page I'll do my cats uh, but this is twice the size so see I don't know I just really wanted to do it so I did and um, so hopefully I'll be back and do some more from start to finish with you guys now with the techniques that I'm going to start to add into my work and show you what I like and what I what works for me. All right. Thanks for watching.